Artist Kathy Conroy has had a lifelong passion for wildlife and nature. She's drawn, photographed, and painted animals of almost every species. With scratchboard, which is also called clayboard etching, she found the perfect medium to create incredibly lifelike animal portraits with fur and feathers that look so real, you'll want to touch them. I've always wanted to be an artist. And I don't know if people remember this, but years ago, there, you would find in a magazine a turtle drawing. It'll, it would say under it, draw Skippy or something like that. Send it in, we might send you to art school. Well, when I was a kid, I would look for those things in magazines. I'd always want to draw Skippy or the little hobo man or whatever it was. So I started drawing those. I've got all kinds of self-help books that I've bought through the years. You know, learn, learning colored pencils, adding light to your compositions and things like that. So I pretty much learned on my own just by reading these books. I've done every kind of medium there is, from watercolors to oils. When my youngest daughter was in high school, I went back to school. So um, I actually got my degree in graphic arts. I went to ACA College of Design, which is now called the Art Institute of Cincinnati. We did a two-week class on scratchboard, and I fell in love with it that instant and started doing scratchboard after that. Now I'm strictly scratchboard. Scratchboard is a pretty old medium and a lot of people compare it to scrimshaw where you're actually scratching into something. There aren't a lot of artists who do scratchboard. You know, it's not for everybody, but it's, it's just what I've found that I really enjoy. So this one is my cat, Ellie. When I do a piece, I do the outline first in chalk. It's just basically a, a rough outline. There's two kinds of scratch board. One is actually called scratch board and the other one is called clay board. Scratch board, on the bottom there's a um, masonite board and then on top of that there's a very thin layer of white kale and clay. And then on top of that is a spray painted layer of black India ink. So when I'm scratching, I'm scratching down to the clay level. So when I'm scratching the image, it's going to be all black and white when I'm finished. My main tool is a scalpel blade, which is actually a surgical scalpel blade. You can also use tattoo needles. The tattoo ne needles that I have actually have four tiny, tiny needles on the end. So when you scratch with them, it gives you a really soft look. Right now I'm starting out lightly. Let's see how soft this tattoo needle works on this fur. I love this. And then I also use fiberglass brushes, X-Acto blades, pretty much anything that'll scratch you can use. The clay board is just the masonite board with the white clay on top. It doesn't have any black on it. So I paint the background. What I use on the white clay boards is a sea sponge. What I do is I dip the uh, sponge in the water, have some ink on my plate, and just start doing this. I do really uh, thin layers until I build it up to where I want it to be. You can get some really unique patterns from the sponge. So depending on what I'm doing, I'll choose to use the whiteboard or the blackboard. And sometimes when I do a horse, I'll, I'll totally change the blades, but I like how this one is, so I'm, I'm probably gonna leave it as is. I love horses' noses, they're so soft. Scratchboard, it's a layering process, and usually what I do is when I'm starting a piece, I'm starting out light because um, the more you scratch, the more black you're taking away. So the more you're revealing the clay underneath. I've loved animals my whole life. My favorite thing is wildlife. When I'm scratching the image, it's going to be all black and white. Usually I don't decide if I'm going to paint it until after I'm finished with the piece. 
the inks that I use. When I paint them on, I'm using a watercolor brush, layering them on like watercolors, just a little bit at a time. When I first paint it on there, it's just flat. So you have to go back in with the scalpel blade, lift color back out to add the highlights back in. It's a long process. She loves nature, she's a naturalist, and she's also a photographer. So her works are very realistic. What I think is really neat about her work is its intimacy. She really knows her subjects well. She does all of her work from, directly from her own photographs. And so she studied her subjects somewhat. And because this is a, a slower process, I think that there's a connection, perhaps, to her subject that uh, I think that it comes across in the work. Birds are my favorite. The details you can get with the feathers is just amazing. Same with the fur. And, and I literally do every little piece of hair one scratch at a time with the scalpel. So that's what I love about it. I do hawks, I do eagles, all the birds of prey. Owls are the most popular that I'm asked to do. Mostly the things that I do for people for commissions are dogs. I do a lot of dogs, cats. I've done people's horses. The Artisan Center was started 14 years ago to provide an outlet for Kentucky's talent. The thing about Kathy's work is it's a rarity. Each and every piece is truly, truly a handmade work of art. Most people haven't seen scratch board before. And so when I describe to them that I'm doing each little hair with a scalpel blade, they just can't believe it. Just seeing the pieces on the, on the wall finished, it's hard to, really imagine doing each one of those one little hair at a time. I love it. The thing that draws me to scratch board is that I'm taking just a plain board and taking every little detail to make it into something that I hope somebody will love.